This is insane. This is the hugest breakfast portion I have ever eaten. Shake you. A lot. That's, a, that's <laughs> big boy's breakfast. It is. A sticky head, Jemima. Some of the portions are gigantic. Sugar. Hi. How many colors your breakfast? Too much. I get a pure injection of you. Way too much food. I mean, this is a substantial portion. <laughs> Amazing as always. Like five eggs, you know, I'm stuffed for the whole day. Oh. Hyper focus my attention on you, baby. A selfish. What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new vlog today with a very special treat because today I'm at Jimmy's East Side Diner here in Miami, Florida. A very, very popular breakfast and brunch spot and actually sadly I will have to say it is the very first time that I'm actually having breakfast at a traditional American diner even though I lived in the United States for quite a while so I'm gonna dig through this menu find a delicious item to chomp down on I'm gonna share the experience with you guys one thing I have to say is this place looks super super traditional and my friend over here made a very good reference to Pulp Fiction what did you say everybody be cool this is a rubbery everybody be cool there you go. <laughs> so this menu is only on four pages, but it is extensive. They have so many menu items on here from salads, burgers, sandwiches, steaks. And then on the last page, you have the coveted breakfast. Many options to choose from here. Um, Starting up with some fresh, traditional fries. drip coffee here, as you would expect it from the diners, probably with free refills till you leave, right? By the way, guys, I'm not here so by myself. I'm here with Oliver. Hi guys, how's it going? Zakina, which is Oliver's girlfriend, and Dominic. Hey. So um, we're going to share some of the items here because some of the portions are gigantic. Uh, Zakina's having the French toast. I'm gonna order the pancakes and the steak breakfast. Dominic, what are you having? Breakfast deal number five. Breakfast deal number five, Oliver. And I do f uh, five fried eggs. Five fried eggs. Somebody's going healthy today. Anyway, let's give this coffee a try. It's good drip coffee, you know? You'd expect the diner to have like coffee that's probably a little bit standoffish, but this is really good. This is delicious black coffee and you get the free refills. It's amazing. You're exotic like a diamond. I can shake you. My sticky and Jemima sugar. Okay, so the food just came out and as always I have ordered way too much food. I mean this is a substantial portion. Just look at the steak. I thought like a, break a steak is a breakfast option. You're gonna have like thinly sliced pieces of steak like maybe 50 grams but this is like this is insane. This is the hugest breakfast portion I have ever eaten. Look at those hash browns. I was expecting something like this. That's a lot. That's, a, that's <laughs> big boy's breakfast. It is. Right there. All right. Steak came out medium rare. It is super tender to cut through with this knife. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a thick crust of pepper and salt on the outside. Really tasty. Mm. A little bit fatty, which gives it a lot of flavor. This is awesome. Look at these hash browns. Nice and crispy, flaky on the inside. Let's get some egg on there as well. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that's good. All right. Hash browns in the US. You just can't get it like this anywhere else. Ooh, la, la. Can I get a pure injection of you? La, la. I just want to drink you. All right. We have arrived at the thing that I'm super excited for. It is the pancakes. And these pancakes are massive and fluffy, drenched in maple syrup. Look at those. Bouncy. Lovely. Get some vegetables on there, uh, I mean some fruit. Look at that. <gasps> mm -hmm. That is amazing. Oh, you got four more to go. Oh, they're so bouncy. Look at the, the bubbles on the bottom, which means it's a nice yeasty pancake. This is so delicious. Cheers. Dominic, how was your breakfast? Too much. Too much. It's too much, yeah. And there are still some pancakes oh, yes, waiting yeah, for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the pancakes are for everyone. But you have the sausage, right? The country sausage? Uh, no, it's like hash of uh, beef, beef okay. hash and some bacon stripes inside also and uh, uh, the scrambled eggs and french fries. The french fries are obviously uh, handmade. Yeah, uh, very nice. 
Sakina, how was your oatmeal? Very good, thank you. Very good? Yeah. No, no big portions for you today? No, thank you. <laughs> Oliver, how were your eggs? Amazing as always. Like five eggs, you know, I'm stuffed for the whole day. <laughs> All right, that steak was delicious. It was perfectly medium rare. Loved the eggs, the hash brown. I can't believe we finished off all the hash browns. That was such a huge portion. Probably can't eat for the rest of the day, but for a first diner experience here in the US, it was top, top notch. I can see why people love it, especially with the free coffee refills. Whenever you want more coffee, they come by with a can. Fresh pots fill you up, top you up. And I will say for Miami standards, the prices here were quite okay. My steak was $19 and it came with the eggs and with the hash brown. And um, oh, actually I was supposed to get some orange juice as well. I just realized that. I didn't know. Hmm. Need to check the menu again. But yeah, all in all, a really, really great experience. And I really love the way that they seasoned the steak. So it had a thick crust of kind of like pepper and salt on there. And the pancakes were the highlight for me. Fluffy. Um, but it had that gluten structure in there, so it was very bouncy and so delicious. All right, I'm gonna ask about my orange juice and then we're gonna get the check. All right, guys, this was an awesome, awesome first diner experience. The food was so, so delicious, but the portions were just absolutely gigantic. All in all, we paid $80, that's with tip and tax. So per person, it was around $20 for Miami, not bad um it is kind of expensive still because we are here in florida and miami and it's generally a little bit more expensive but uh, if you think about the quality and the experience and the way everything tasted i think it's a big deal 80 dollars for four people it's okay if you guys know any other awesome food spots here in miami or the surrounding areas please do let us know in the comments down below thank you for tuning in if you're new around here hit that subscribe button uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and make it happen. Bye-bye.